Hey, this is Ashley Hume. I did my career profile um, on the Child Protective Services as a caseworker, and uh, the company I used was the Department of Family and Protective Services through the Child Protective Services of the state of Texas. The um, organization they use is the Foster and Adoptive Home Development. They, there was no career contact. The, the website I used had a lot of videos I found very beneficial. The work environment, it's a large organization. You can typically, the, the, the work hours are flexible. You can have long work hours, short work hours, depending on what you're looking for. Workplace, um, there's a lot of independence while visiting families, but you can meet with your supervisors at least once a week and work with other caseworkers as well. You're able to schedule work to your day how best fits you. You can do paperwork in the morning or you can visit clients in the afternoon or the other way around. Typical stressors are you'll probably get overwhelmed. It is common to get yelled at by parents who get CPS called on them. You'll be exposed to really rough environments for children. You'll have to be or have really good people skills, be well spoken and organized. You need to be patient, not hold on a, hold a chip on your shoulder of any kind against anyone. Um, kindness is super important. You have to separate your emotions from um, work. And then there's your benefits. There's um, you have a compensation package through this company, and the average one looks you about you have a forty thousand dollar base pay. Um, you have paid time off, holiday, sick leave, vacation, and they say that equals about six thousand dollars worth of benefits there. And then you have insurance benefits. So you have Social Security, Medicare, taxes, and worker workers' compensation taken out of your pay. And you have retirement contributions of up to two thousand six hundred dollars and supplemental pay, um, which is like a bonus for staying with the company. And that totals to be around about $59,000 of pay is included with the benefits. And then the common tasks you'll have to do is help recruit foster and adoptive families, train families how to care for neglected and abused children, give support to families by visiting them and giving them additional tools and tips with children, Make sure the families are meeting the state licensing standards, help with the adoption process, and occasionally attend court hearings. Your educational requirements are you need a bachelor's or associate's degree plus two years of relevant work experience, or you can do 60 college credit hours plus two years of relevant work experience. The starting salary range is about $32,000, and your experience range is $47,000, and that pay is based on your experience and the qualifications that you have. Miscellaneous career information, you have to travel around and visit different families and you have to have a reliable vehicle, that's super important, you need to be able to be prepared to pay for car costs up front but you will receive mileage reimbursement. I got, I will put the link on the YouTube and I got all my information from this website and I highly recommend going to the website and exploring their videos, they're super informative and you can just tell the caseworkers are very passionate about their jobs. This is all I have to share with you guys. See ya.